get a load of this. As a result of all the weather delays and cancellations last week, yesterday was actually the first full day of school for Washoe County students since they began winter break back on December 15th. Ryan Kennedy spoke with the school district today and has a look at how the school district plans to make up time lost due to the, due to the snow days. The Washoe County School District understands that wet weather is good for northern Nevada, but it does create problems for the school system, especially when classes have to be canceled. It's very difficult on a school, um, especially with final exams and of course assessments. Our teachers are constantly working um, on lessons and, and we want to make sure that there's a continuity. And it can be tough to find that continuity when our area is having one of the wettest Januaries on record. <laughs> Last week alone, two school days were canceled and three days were on a two hour delay because of the weather and it may not be over yet. We have another storm system moving in, so you know we could have other delayed starts. Two hour delays are not only used to allow time for roads to thaw out for bus driver and student safety, but also because we do not have to have students or staff make up that time. But the school system does have to make up the time for days that are completely canceled, at least if there are enough days missed. And that's because of guidelines set by the Nevada Department of Education. We have to have 180 instructional days. And so any loss of instructional time we take um, to heart. Um, and that's the last thing that we want to do. Thus far, the Washoe County School District has not missed enough time that would constitute the use of end of the year contingency days, but with enough wet weather, that could still change. Hopefully we won't have any more cancellations, um, but it's a little early to be talking about what the plans are going to be. Covering School Watch, Ryan Kennedy, Channel 2 News. As soon as the school district makes those plans, which could be as early as next month, they'll post that information on their website and make calls to parents. We'll have more on that on the online version of this story. Now, the school district also says making up time for missed days will be different for schools in Incline Village since they've clearly experienced more snow days or cancellations. However, much like the rest of the schools in the district, those plans will be made at a later time.